Welcome to the channel. This is Jay Bad CD, where we keep the wheels rolling and the cash flowing. All right, guys, so today, this video is about one question that I've been asked many, many times. So I said, Jay, let's do a video about it so we can address everybody that has this question in the near future. Can you make good money and stay busy in the dump truck business? Let's dive in. All right, guys, so the number one thing that you probably don't know, but this is the most important, What's the forecast in the construction industry in your city or your area? Now, Jay, what do you mean by the forecast? What do I mean by the forecast, guys? It's the following, okay? How much construction is there forecast in your area, in your city, in your town, wherever it is that you're located? Now, you're probably thinking, Jay, I don't know the answer to that. And that's okay. Most people don't know the answer. But if you really want to know the number one thing to stay busy and can you make good money, it's the forecast. Now you're going to say, Jay, well, how can I know the forecast? So here we go, guys. So number one thing, guys, go online, guys, do research. If you're living in the city of Houston, go on the city of Houston's website. Do some research. What are the construction projects? Go on the state's website. What are the projects coming up in the county that you live in? in my county, which is Harris County, right? Harris County. What are the projects, right? So number one thing is you got to do your research. That's how you find the forecast of the construction industry in your area. Why? Because ultimately, if there's a lot of construction coming up in your area, that means that you're going to probably stay busy, right? So find that out by going online or you can be subscribed like I am to these guys right here. And I'm going to just read this right off the top. And one of the ways I stay ahead of the game, I got this a couple months ago and it says Houston Highway set for $7 billion upgrade. Guys, do you know what this tells me? Let me just tell you what this says, okay? Project that is expected to be completed in 2042. So we're in 2024, guys. This is set to be completed in 2042. So imagine for how many more years this project will be going. What does that mean, Jay? Well, that means one thing. A $7 billion project for the next, you know, 20 years or so, that just tells me one thing. That tells me there's gonna be a lot of work. And let me explain to you what I mean by that. Because one huge project that's a $7 billion project, okay? What this does is it creates a domino effect, right? So if we have a project that's $7 billion, okay, this is your $7 billion right here. Now, ultimately what happens is that one big project will create a lot of little projects, okay? So that one major highway, which is actually essentially two major highways they're gonna be doing, okay? So those two major highways will now also create work on other projects, meaning if they're gonna be doing these two major highways that are gonna be crossing downtown Houston, okay? They're gonna be expanding these the highways, that also means now they're going to have to also reconstruct and widen the roads and the streets underneath these highways, right? Why? Because of traffic control. So what does that mean? Not only do we have the $7 billion project up here, right? But we also have the streets and the roads, everything else, all the real estate that's attached to it right? To those streets and those roads and those neighborhoods. So imagine that guys. Now I can continue to keep going further deep with it, but I'm just trying to give you a visual of how we're forecasting the construction business and how that ultimately makes you good money, but most importantly keeps you busy, right? If you know that these big projects are coming in your area, well, you now know that you're going to more than likely stay busy, okay? So that's number one, forecasting construction industry in your area. Number two, guys, resources giving you work. What I mean by giving work, what are the resources that are giving you work? Who is going to be giving you work? What are those resources? And I've talked about this many times, and you hear it all the time. Is it the quarries, the sand pits, the railway yard, the asphalt plants, okay? Are those guys going to be the ones that are going to be delivering the material to, let's say, that $7 billion project? Why? Because if you're working for one of those guys that's supplying materials for this $7 billion project, what does that mean? You're going to be busy, right? So you want to make sure that you have the right resources. When you start in the dump truck business, you want to make sure that those resources are going to keep you busy. Are they the ones participating on these big projects? Or if it's not a big project, are they the ones participating on these multiple smaller projects that keep you busy? The other thing is, guys, remember those resources may not only just be a supplier. It could ultimately be a broker, right? It could be you dealing directly with the contractor. Let's say the contractors are the ones that are going to be doing 
this seven billion dollar project. Now, seven billion dollar project, that's not just one contractor, that's multiple contractors. So are you gonna be one of the guys that's gonna be providing dump trucks for one of those contractors on those projects, right? Or are you gonna be working with maybe the broker that's gonna be supplying that construction company with multiple trucks for that job? So see, that's how you stay busy, right? And that's what I mean by having the resources, right? Connecting to those resources that keep you busy. Number three, guys, Caesar. You gotta keep in mind that depending on where you're located, right, the dump truck business can be seasonal. Now, lucky for us here in Houston, outside of, you know, the weather, the good thing for us here in Houston is that we don't really have any snow or anything like that that deters us from staying busy other than just the rain. Yes, we do get a lot of rain, but really, honestly, all that does is just stacks up work. The next thing you know, we have more work than we can have it, right? Because all the rain does is just delay the work. So. A year, it may be different though. You may be living up north where there's a lot of snow and you may not have work for four or five months. So there's nothing that, you know, you may be able to do about it because that's just a seasonal. You may live in an area where dump truck business is seasonal. So you have to know and understand that and be prepared for that before you even get into the dump truck business. So the seasonal, make sure you know that. Make sure that in the other six or seven months or eight months, whatever it is that you may be working throughout the year, that you're making the money you need to make, right? To then later on when the season comes that you're gonna be sitting on the sidelines, you don't have to worry about having income, making sure if you're doing something else, right? Or figuring out other ways to keep your dump truck busy. So guys, can you make good money? Can you stay busy in the dump truck business? Well, I gave you three key points there, but guys, you really essentially, there's a lot of different things, right? That come with, you make the good money and you stay busy in the dump truck business. If you haven't already guys, make sure that you watch my other videos where I cover a lot of these topics. But yes, obviously you can stay busy and yes, you can make good money. And guys, just to let you know, when I first started in the dump truck business, Houston was growing. So that goes back to forecasting construction. So when I started guys, I didn't know really anything about the dump truck business. But one thing I do know is that I would see dump trucks going left and going right and going north and coming east and going west and going south in every direction, right? So that ultimately told me there's a lot of work for dump trucks. So these are the things that you need to look out for, right? Are there a lot of dump trucks in your area? Are these dump trucks staying busy? Well, Jay, how do I know the answer to this? Again, guys, you gotta do the research. You gotta make those phone calls, you gotta go online. And I've done videos on this as well, you know? Go out there, reach out to these over operators that are out there that own dump trucks. So they'll make those contacts and those connections. But yes, can you stay busy? Yes, if you're in the right area, if you're in an area that has a lot of construction, and it's a growing area, yes, you can stay busy. And then of course, making sure that you connect with the people, the right resources that are gonna provide work for you, right, and keep you busy. And then of course, remembering that it could be seasonal depending on the area that you're located. So with that being said, guys, I highly recommend that you watch these next two videos. How much money can a dump truck make? And best time to buy a dump truck. And guys, if there's any other videos that you may wanna watch, make sure you drop a comment below. You already know, like and subscribe. This is Jay Bassini, and we'll see you on the next one.